Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing how to unroot or unbrick your HTC One. This is for the Sprint variant. Uh, this is showing you how to run an RUU to get back to stock for the device. I do want to make a note that getting back to stock, if your bootloaders, if you've unlocked your bootloader, then you might not be able to send it back to HTC, but you can bring it back into your carrier if you follow this method because you will be unrooted, etc. Uh, for other carriers, I want to make a note that this method could work just fine. I just want to make a note that you will need to use a different file. You can't use this Sprint RUU file. I'll try and find a diff the different carriers RUU files to get back to stock, so I'll post links in the description of the video if I do find them. So I'll try and keep this updated for everyone on different carriers as well. But anyways, this is for the Sprint RUU. I have the Sprint variant, so I'm showing you how to run the RUU for Sprint. So what we're going to first need to do is download a file what you can do is go ahead and go to uh, the link in the description of the video and click on the download link. It will go ahead and take you to this site. It will take us right here. Shout out to OMJ and anyone else getting this involved. Go ahead and click on the first download link right here. Sprint HTC One RUU.zip. Go ahead and click on it uh, and download it. The download might take a while because the file size is very large. So be patient with that download. And now once downloaded, you can actually go ahead and go into your downloads folder and you'll see the Sprint HTC One RUU.zip. What I recommend doing is go ahead and go to your desktop and create a folder. I've already done it. It's called HTC One on root. Just right click, highlight new, and create a folder to extract these files into. Go ahead and double click on the zip file in our downloads and inside you'll see a folder. Just extract that folder into that folder that you made on your desktop just so you know where everything's at. Uh, it'll take a bit of time to extract. As I said, the file size is pretty large. I guess while it's extracting, you can get our phone ready. I do want to make a note that everything's going to be wiped. I believe your internal storage is going to be wiped. Your uh, your apps are going to be gone. Everything's going to be wiped. It's going to do a full factory reset. So make sure you back up all your pictures, your music, everything that you need to be backed up onto your computer. And once you've done that, we are ready to go. Go ahead and press and hold that power button and restart actually. You can reboot our phone because we need to get into that bootloader. I'm assuming if you're rooted you know how to get into the bootloader. While rebooting press and hold volume down uh, or if you're, in, if you're in a boot loop you can just press and hold volume down and power button. Let go of the power button. Keep that volume down button held down and it should take us into that bootloader which is where we need to go and here we go. So we are now in the bootloader. First step is go ahead and uh, you'll see fast boots highlighted. Just press the power button to select it and then make sure it says fast boot. So we can go ahead and plug our uh, device into our PC now that it's in fast boot mode. So plug it on in, go back to our computer. All right, so inside you'll see that folder. You can double click on it. We don't need to do anything inside this folder just yet. First of all, we need to actually relock our bootloader. So it's unlocked right now. As you guys know, what you can do to relock it is actually go back into that root folder that I had you download when you rooted your device. If you didn't, uh, you follow my method to root, no big deal. Uh, what you're going to need to do is actually set up the SDK tools on your PC. It's very simple. I have a quick video on how to do that. Just click on it and set up the SDK tools uh, and ADB on your PC. But otherwise, if you have that folder called root HTC One Sprint, I can link to that as well on my website if you want to just download this folder and use this folder. What you can do is actually just hold shift on your keyboard, right click and open, hit open command window here because we need to type, uh, type in a quick command prompt and the fast boot files are all right there, ADB SDK tools. So again, you can install the SDK tools. Sorry about this focus, but again, you can install those. I'll link to everything in the description on my website. So for all information, go there. I will go ahead and explain it. But again, your device needs to be plugged in in fast boot mode. So what you can type in is fast boot space OEM space lock. So what that's gonna do is just relock the bootloader. Let me grab the phone real quick and press enter. You'll see our uh, screen shut off and it says lock successfully. Uh, it says finish. So we will see if uh, it reboots. I believe it's gonna reboot the device. But again, this is just gonna lock, relock the bootloader real quick so then we can run the RUU. So that's the first step to this process. All right, so you'll see the phone is rebooted. All you have to do again is press restart and get back into that bootloader. So go ahead and press restart. Restart the device and press and hold volume down. I'm gonna unplug it real quick. So press and hold volume down while it's rebooting. All right, so we're back to the bootloader. You will see right here up at the top, it actually says relocked. So you know our, our bootloader is relocked. Again, HTC will probably see that and it will void your warranty. However, carriers really don't care about that. So no big deal, but it'll say tampered and relocked. 
Just a quick note, you're actually going to have to go back into fast boot, so go ahead and press the power button and make sure it does say fast boot right there. With Plug it on in, very simple. And now we can actually close out of this command window. We don't need to run any more command prompts. You can close out of your root HTC One Sprint folder. And now we can run the RUU. So go back into that uh, RUU file, that folder that we did create, and you'll see a setup.exe. Right click on it and hit run as administrator. So go ahead and run this as an administrator, hit yes. And then we can go ahead and run through this RUU. So uh, ROM update utility is what RUU stands for, for those of you that were wondering. Uh, it should run through. Again, um, this is gonna wipe everything, so make sure you have everything backed up. Once again, this is your last chance. And uh, that should be it, so it's setting it up. All right, so this screen's gonna pop up. Welcome to the ROM update utility. Go ahead and read the readme, understand the caution. Go ahead and hit next. And then this screen's gonna come up. It says to connect your smartphone to the USB cable. We already did that, completed the steps indicated above, and hit next. Then it's gonna go ahead and verify that our phone's connected to our PC. All right, once it does that, it says current information about your smartphone. Select from below, update the current ROM version. Just press update. And then it's going to go ahead and run through the RUU on our device. So you'll see it'll say from image version to image version. You'll probably want to make sure these are the exact same image versions. Once you've uh, checked that, go ahead and hit next. And it says you're now ready to update your ROM images. Operation takes approximately 10 minutes, so keep that in mind. Press next again, and it's going to go ahead and check updating the ROM on your PDA device. It's rebooting into bootloader. We've already done so, so... Uh, it looks like it's going to go ahead and automatically do that anyways. So uh, it takes about 10 minutes. Again, make sure you don't unplug your device while this is running through. Just kind of make sure that you don't. It takes us to this HTC screen. Erasing user data right away. As I said, everything is going to be wiped. I'm going to let it run through. Once it is closer to completion, I will be back. I also want to make a quick note that while this is running through, make sure your computer doesn't go into hibernation mode or anything like that. So make sure you do keep your PC awake. You also might see a progress bar show up on your device. All right, so it just finished up. You'll see rebooting Android phone, and our device is now rebooting, and that should be just about it. Should be just about all you do, all you need to do to get back to the stock ROM. Looks like it takes us back in the bootloader. It just says relocked up at the top. It does not say tampered anymore. And this says congratulations, your ROM update is now complete. Your smartphone is ready for use. So let it boot on up. I'm going to let mine boot up, and I will be back. The first boot up is going to take a little bit longer than usual just because the factory reset was done, so just kind of keep that in mind. All right, phone's rebooted. You don't need to plug it in anymore. Once it says congratulations, you don't need to plug it in, but that's it. So we are back to complete stock. No super user in our after. We'll have stock recovery back, and we're good to go. So we are now unrooted. Again, if you are in a different carrier, that RUU should just be a different file. Hopefully it can run through and uh, work for you. But hopefully this video helped. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.